Welcome to Reloading from the Hot Pot. Here, I like to do good gun, gear, and accessory reviews, plus share a little bit about my life. If you're not subscribed, please consider giving a subscribe below, turn the bell notification on, always give a like, and please share. My Zocam rep is really good to me. And every once in a while, she'll contact me and she will ask me if I want to review something. And it's always a yes, because, you know, I always get really good, useful products at budget prices. I mean, the quality of the product to the price is extraordinary. I I can't say enough good about Zocam. Um, I don't know if Zocam is the actual manufacturer, but they are the company that distributes all of these items for your range pew pew needs and you've seen quite a few di little different items on my channel but she sent me these two different packages and each one contains the same but different so let's open them up one at a time and take a look i'm gonna pick this one to open up now what this is is this is zokim's 10 pieces safety flags and these say remove before pew pew and they're new <laughs> like you're gonna sell you used items Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a bright, bright safety green. Okay, I like green. Green's one of my favorite colors. So when these came in, I was ecstatic about this. It comes with 10 of these. It says remove before pew pew on both sides. So there's not a blank side to it like some others. I have another one that says remove before pew pew in red that I bought years ago that's only one sided. This one is double sided comes with a nice little attachment here this will not go into a 22 chamber but it will butt up against it so you could use these for 22 all the way up to the largest calibers that you could imagine and one really little cool thing on here check this out you see this little slot here you can attach this to a Picatinny rail when you're not using it on your rifle <laughs> or anything else that has a pick rail on it. You know, some uh, long gun, lever guns, shotguns, um, sporting rifles, things like that usually have Picatinny rails. So you can just slide this onto your pick rail and keep it safely while you're shooting. That way you're not losing your chamber flag. Here, let me show you. So here we're going to get out the second box, and this one says empty chamber. You know, some people don't like the remove before pew pew, they like to see the empty chamber one. And this is also in the uh, safety green. Really, really nice. Ten pieces. It's got the same attachment here for the pick rail. It comes with all of the rings. Throwing the rings around there. <laughs> it comes with all the rings and all the attachments and it's 10 pieces in each box. I'm gonna get one of my pew pews out and I'm gonna show you how this works. This was my three gun competition AR. I don't shoot three gun anymore. Um, I really don't own a shotgun that's capable of it. I end up selling it and putting the money towards some other items, but I still have the AR. I still take it out and shoot it, but I just don't do any more competitive shooting with it. It's just more of like a range plinker now. But this chamber flag, let's get that neat little mount there. And I have a 45 degree offset that I had a red dot on that I've recently taken off and um, moved it to someplace else. But this little chamber flag here will slide right onto that rail layer. Now, you may have to put like a zip tie or something on there to keep it from coming all the way off. And each Picatinny rail is going to be a little different. You know, this up here, this fits a lot better up here. But I'm just demonstrating for you, just demonstration purposes. A little bit difficult to get off there, so it might be better to keep it up there. But it does slide onto a pick rail, so it's very handy. And when you got it in your chamber, 
get it up into there it goes right up into your chamber to show that you have to remove before pew pew as I said there's two different kinds Ooh, it's dirty isn't it look at that <laughs> I haven't cleaned it in some time it's my sporting rifle doesn't need cleaned all the time it runs great I've done a video on this complete rifle it's back in my playlist from pew reviews I did the coating on it really really nice shooter but it's always good to have an empty chamber flag with you remove before pew pew flag and the great part is there's 10 in each box so if you go over to my channel hot pot tactical there's gonna be a review over there on these where I'm not gonna show any firearms and I will leave a link in the description to that video in this video and then I'll leave a link to these products on Amazon in that video on Hot Pot Tactical. Did you get all of that? Kind of confused me just saying it. I'm telling you. It's just one of them days, man. It's one of them days. But, but I would like to say a huge thank you out to Zo Kim for sending me these items for testing and review. And also, I will be giving some of these away on the Georgia Shooting Connection Friday night chat. I'll leave a link in the description of this video for that channel. So if you come over on the Friday night Georgia Shooting Connection, I'm going to be giving some of these away. Now this also has, I just noticed, this has this little piece here. What is this little piece for? What is that for? That's got to be there for a reason. There's got to be something about that. I'm going to look that up. I looked that up and I did not see any information on that. But, you know, if you've got tour caps on your scope, or these tour caps are just, just spinoffs. You know, this is a LPVO. So, but if you've got something a little more dangerous on your gun, like, you know, a high-powered scope, your tour caps usually require um, a little tool or something or a coin to take the cap off of it. Well, this will be very, very handy for that. Hmm. They should put that in the description of the uh, the Amazon. I'm telling you that. Nice little uh, side tool for doing, you know, little tinker tinker things. Well, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you, Zo Kim, for sending these out. I greatly appreciate you. And like I said, I will be giving some of these away on the Georgia Shooting Connection. So if you come over on the live chat and you join us over there, you may have a chance to win one of these chamber flags or maybe one of each yeah let's do a one of each we'll do a one of each an empty chamber and remove before pew pew to each winner all right my pupils thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate you and always remember to keep blowing that smoke also these chamber flags are really nice construction they're very tough they're made of durable nylon material and the remove before pew pew and the empty chamber are actually embroidered onto it. Everything on it has burn ends, so nothing's going to fray. I can see the burn end there. You know, like like you would, uh, you know, like when I mean, you're sewing something, you're going to burn it so it doesn't fray its ends again. They think about that. You know, Zokim really does a good job with this stuff. Really, really impressed. <laughs>